side of a bedpost. Oh! Oh! Heavy, heavy loads on this being our third Armed Forces Entertainment tour, it was definitely one of the most interesting just to uh, see how some other parts of the world live to be in certain areas that aren't particularly safe areas to be in and to see what some of the servicemen and women have to go through and the, and the things that they're doing on a daily basis in the kind of environments that they are in. So, you know, these, these tours are definitely incredible learning experiences for everyone in the band and at the same time, just that, you know, we have a blast performing for the troops. Can you can you uh think of a song that rhymes with where we're going? I'd just like to thank all the service women and men that helped us load our equipment and carry things and help set up and feed us. And um, everybody was really hospitable when we were over there. And I'd like to say what's up to um, some of my friends that are actually overseas right now. Uh, so what's up? First one got stolen. Second one got stolen. This is my third. Third, well, third time's the charm. What I love most about the Armed Forces Entertainment Tours, besides the, the pure fact of performing for all the troops, is meeting just so many great people out in the world serving our country selflessly. And it's also quite a thrill to see so many of them come out to an LDE show while we're back stateside. It really makes us feel that we've made an impact on their daily lives while they're out in these crazy places like Afghanistan or Djibouti. I see your face when I sleep, can't get it out of my head. I hear your voice, I feel your touch, and I feel I'm losing my mind again. It's not too late, it's not too late for me, but I've nothing left to defend. I'm telling you, 
It's the cat. Look at this. Look at this, Look at this man. Dripping down the back of my coffee cup, the line's down here. It's the cap. I cleaned the thing out. I hate, you know, a defective cap can ruin a day. It really can. Another great thing for me is being able to travel and see these new pictures of culture and landscape and places that most people, at least I know, will never be able to explore. Uh, but in the end, it's, it's really just a great opportunity to provide entertainment, the comfort of something familiar, and uh, a great way for LDE to say thank you for allowing us and the rest of our country to live freely. I hear your voice, I see your face when I sleep. trip was a really fun and exciting time and I think the uh, biggest part of this trip was to be able to go over and say thank you to those guys and gals who are risking their lives every single day and we miss you and hope you come home soon. Changing my strings because the ones that were on there yeah. are now Warm dead. Out. So I'm putting these new ones on because they're going to sound nice and bright. Uh -huh. So you can hear the difference between like this sound and like this sound. Yeah, oh. it's kind of dead. Yeah. And this is like bright, yeah. nice and shiny. So how long it did it last? Shiny. Does that just depend on uh, it depends on how, how much, hard you play? <laughs> yeah, and how much my hands sweat and the environment. Yeah. So I usually try to change my strings every five or six gigs. I Depends on where, if we're in the desert of Afghanistan or not. Yeah. Regardless of your views on government or war, one needs to realize there are thousands upon thousands of American men and women overseas, far away from their family, friends, and loved ones, often risking and sometimes losing their lives in order that we here at home can continue to enjoy the freedom this country was founded on. So I ask, please give these brave soldiers the dignity and respect that they all deserve. But I think I need this moment to catch my breath. Just to take a look around While the world